If you want to know how to make the jailbreak Thum robbery in Roblox Studio, make sure to watch this video all the way to the end to find out how to. Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new video on my channel. In this tutorial, we're going to be making the jailbreak tomb part 5. We're going to be fixing the gem, well not really fixing, but we're going to edit it and we're going to do the bridge. Uh, as you know, over here, there's going to be a bridge, which will be kind of destroyable, you walk over it, you know, you get the point. So that's what we're going to be doing today. If you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe for epic gamer content. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. If you want to become a member, click the blue join button down below. And also a big shout out to Creeper Man and Lego Lord Gaming Studio. Uh, they they gave me some source code to help me out, and that's what I really appreciate. So thank you guys for that, and um, let's continue with the tutorial. So what you want to do first, you want to go to View and then Toolbox, and then you want to go to your models, and you want to insert the model in the description. So just go to the description, click the link, get the model, and put it in your game so that's what i'm gonna do right now and as you can see i got the bridge model in my game so that's pretty cool i think so too so that's what we're just gonna do and let me see it has to be like this i think i think i have no idea i'm just gonna put it like this and i'm gonna just for uh i'm just gonna add in a truss so i can kind of at least get to it for uh, in your game you have like terrain probably so that's what i'm just gonna do this there we go so now we can walk over that and i'm gonna put it a little bit behind actually just in case so i want to anchor this i'm gonna put it in useless stuff there we go so now we've got the gems and all that stuff so let's put the bridge somewhere so we're just gonna do bridge Actually, what we just can do, we can just put it in Descendants map. Hey, do you know how cool that is? I know. So, now to continue the scripting parts. I'm going to go to Executors. I'm going to insert a bridge. Bridge script. And because of that bridge script, it's going to fall. So, we're going to add in a script. We're going to call it, let's see, what do we have, what do we have over here? Spikes, okay. I'm just going to do bridge executor. And what we're going to be typing. We're going to be typing for i, comma v, in pairs, workspace, dot. Well, actually, no, we're going to do it else. We're going to do game, come on, get service workspace, dot tomb robbery, dot descendants map, uh, descendants map, yep, dot uh, bridge, come on, get children, do. Um, if v is a model so if it's a model it is then v dot plank dot touched color connect function hit and then if if hit dot parent call on find first child humanoid a lot of spelling errors but okay then wait we're just gonna wait zero let's do 0 0.01 seconds v and then i'm just gonna put it like this I'm just keep it a little bit organized. You don't have to do this. I just love things organized. So like this. V dot plank dot transparency is equal to one. V dot plank dot can collide is equal to false. V dot fake plank dot transparency is equal to zero. V dot fake plank dot anchored is because they're false because we're going to make it fall and we're just going to make it fall so what we're going to be doing now is v dot fake plank dot can collide is because they're false we're just going to wait three seconds and then v dot plank dot transparency is because they're zero to then v dot plank dot can collide is because they're true then local new is because the v dot plank colon clone New dot name is equal to fake plank. New dot transparency is equal to one. We're gonna make the we're gonna make it invisible. New dot can collide is equal to false. And now new dot parent is equal to v dot parent. 
this is your script you're completely done now so you know my drill what we're gonna be doing now is test it out and let's see can we just anchor everything maybe that could break it but okay so we're just gonna click play here as you can see we're gonna be starting to play so now if you just get the diamond boom you know the drill and we're gonna climb up and then if we walk over this as you can see they fall apart off the map and we can just walk over it and then boom we made it and then as you can see it gets regenerated immediately so this is exactly what we want and this is super cool as i said shout out to creeper man and uh, lego lord gaming studio for the scripts well not really everything but also yes but also no so now we have to not really fix but we have to kind of get the diamond back to work so in order to do that we want to go to the leader stats maybe yep now uh, delete the ragdoll actually no keep the ragdoll now local uh wait this is just going to be for the gym i'm just gonna zoom in local let's see what do we need local has gem is the instance that new a bull value into the player actually no local values is the tomb uh, well instance that new a folder into tomb robbery then values that name is it the values to then for a local gem is the instance that new folder into values gem that name is it the gem so we're just gonna do gem now so now we inserted some folders and we're just going to be inserting it with gems. As you know. So, now, we can do local, uh, well, has gem, that name. Is it because it has gem? Mm, has gem, has gem dot value. Is it false? You don't have a, you don't have it yet. So now, what we can do, uh, bindable event, dot event, colon connect function um what do we have we have player so we're just gonna do plr and we can do plr plr dot tomb robbery wait f plr dot tomb robbery that values that gem that has gem that value is equals equals to false if not true then we're gonna do this values that gem that has gem that value six to true so if it is not true then we're gonna set it to true manually so now what you want to do um it's gonna be a little bit weird um i want a gem executor why do we not have that okay well just make a folder into the executor's name a gem delete the script and uh put a bindable event in bindable event and call it um it doesn't really matter maybe just check has gem just check has gem yes so now local bindable bindable event is the game calling get service workspace dot tomb robbery tomb robbery dot executors dot gem dot check has gem and there you go now you want to go to the gyms and we need to fire that along with the player so we can do script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot let's see what do we have the parent dot executors dot gem dot check has gem colon fire and we're gonna fire it on the player yes so this should work and we're gonna be testing this out of course so let's do that right now of course so click play here Now, if we just click E, we get the diamond. We're going to walk. Let's see. Do we have any errors? Nope. So, if we go to Tomb Robbery, Values, Has Gem. And you can see, it's set to true. This means we have it. Now, of course, you're going to walk. You're going to fall apart from it. If you would stay, you're going to fall apart. And, of course, you can just jump over him. Or go back. So, of course, this is really cool. And uh, this is your checking gem 
mechanic. And for last, we need a quick ragdoll script. So put in a script in the ragdoll. Let's call it the ragdoll executor. To then game. Call on get service players. Dot player added. Call on connect function. Pl play. Well, this is P. Uh, P or character added. Call on connect function C. C dot humanoid dot break joins on death. Six to false. C dot humanoid that died. Call on connect function nothing. For underscore comma v in pairs C colon get descendants do like this. If v colon is a motor six d. So if you if there's a motor six d then. Local a0 comma a1 six to instance that new attachment comma instance that new attachment a0 dot c frame six to v dot c0 a1 dot c frame six to v dot c1 a0 dot parent six to v dot part zero and a1 dot parent Six to V dot part one. Local B is six to instance that new ball socket constraint. B dot attachment is zero. Six to A zero and B dot attachment one. You can guess A one. B dot parent. Six to V dot parent. And lastly, V colon destroy. And lastly, lastly, C dot humanoid root part. That can collide. Six to false. This is your entire script done. Okay? This is your script. So we're just gonna exit out of every single thing. We're gonna play the game. And then E. So we got the gem now. We can walk over the bridge. It's gonna fall apart, as you can see. And then lastly, if we die boom we just ragdoll and what i also want is over here um if c colon find first child gem then um so if there's a gem c the gem colon destroy and p dot tomb robbery dot let's see tomb dot values the gem that has gem dot value it's six to false so if you already have a gem it's gonna get destroyed and uh yes so let's check so let's see e so as you can see we have a gem and if we die it goes away so that's going to be it for this tutorial if you did in fact enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Again, big shout out to Creeperman and Lego Lord Gaming Studio for helping me out. And um, if you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. If you want to become a member, click the blue join button. My name is Newbie, and I say peace out.